Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stephanie and my brand name is Vastiani. How are y'all doing? So, I've been getting a lot of requests for patterns and I don't sell patterns. But I will show you guys how to manipulate patterns, okay? So, I was looking at a lot of people, especially in the you know, groups that have prom wear or even the group I'm in that have dance wear and they always ask for patterns, okay? And look here, I always believe you should not be reinventing wheels. So I have the McCall 7999. Um, that's Emma Z. Mary 7999 McCall pattern. And that pattern is a close fitting pullover dress and it have like a sleeve variation stitch m color neckband and a side split or a color and back slit pattern and this is actually a basic pattern and what that pattern does is it's so basic you can manipulate it any way you want so what I'm doing right now, what you're seeing I'm doing is I'm tracing the pattern because I don't want to cut the original pattern. Now that pattern goes from an extra small to an extra large. And the extra small is a 4.6 to an extra large, which is a size 20-22. So you have a good variation in that pattern, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm tracing the pattern. I have white paper. So I'm tracing the extra small, which is the 4-6, okay? And the 4-6, the bust for 4-6 is 29 and a half to 30 and a half. The waist is between 22 to a 23. And the hip is a 31 and a half to 32 and a half, okay? And... No, I can let me tell you about the extra large. The extra large, the bus is a 42 or 44, the waist is a 34 to a 37, and the um the hip is to a four from a 44 to a 46. Okay. So what I'm doing is tracing out the actual pattern, and I'm doing number well, example A. All right. Um I'm going to show you guys the actual pattern later down, but it have a, a, B, and C, which is a different variation of the pattern. And what I'm doing is a, I'm doing it as a mini. Okay. So I'm going to be manipulating this pattern. Okay. Um, what I did also is I have an inspiration. I saw the style in in style magazine and that's what we're going to be doing is making something from in style magazine the inspiration and it's on the back all right so the pattern itself it have three variation one without um collar and two with sleeve length variation so what i'm making is a dress that have a long sleeve and I also gonna have a collar all right so what I'm gonna be doing is manipulating because I always work with um, four way stretch pattern okay I always work with four way stretch pattern I mean fab four way stretch fabric so what I'm doing is I'm cutting the hip part of the pattern the trace part because i want it to come in and fit like a bodycon dress so that's what i'm doing right now i'm i'm putting the front and the back together that's what i'm showing you guys and what i'm doing is i'm going to be using my hip ruler and I'm going to be making it very more bodycon so that it fit and hugs the hip, hip better, you know. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so 
watch me work okay guys and then you're gonna see the end result and thank you so much guys so much for being with me on this journey okay thank you for to all my supporters and to all my subscribers thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart okay guys Hey guys, so I'm just going here and finish up this dress. Um, finish up this dress because I need to get some few stuff. Let's finish up this dress, okay? So, so this is the dress, okay, guys. Here's the back. All right, so remember this is the the McCall's M799. Okay, so what I was saying to the people who make prom dresses and stuff like that, this is an actual basic pattern that you can use, and you know it, it's also it goes down to like right here all right and it have a short version so what i did was i cut out extra small because i use a lot of four-way stretch so this is an extra small and then what i did was here on the skirt section i make it a little bit narrower and i did make it a little short i make it as a mini dress um there's two versions there's one without the actual seam in the back which is this one okay this one is have the seam in the back this one doesn't have the seam in the back and you can see from the line art that this one doesn't have a seam in the back this one doesn't have a seam in the back but the longer version of a seam in the back so if you wanted to put zip you can okay because you have enough space to do the zip um so i went and i told you that you can get this pattern and you can make all your prom wear all your things that you need to do um because you don't have to reinvent wheels you just have to do a mock-up meaning that when you make it and this is asking for a two-way stretch when you make it see where it fits if it fits really nice then go ahead and use it as your block pattern and what i did was I cut out the extra small. Um, I trace it on this paper. And then what I did, I manipulate the pattern after I'm finished because I wanted the back of this. This is the back I wanted. I tore it out of, it was um, October 2021 in Style Magazine. And I saw this look, and it said it's a body suit, 
but I said, okay, I love the back. I'm going to do the back. And here is the back. Okay, my interpretation of the back. And then what I did was instead of make it really cowl, not really cowl, but make it very, very more turtleneck, I make it as a small, a shorter a version. Okay, which is my interpretation. And what I did was I used three different fabric. I used the jeans in the back. And then I use another print. This was just, I just, all I had was this. I didn't have no more left. So I'm going to show you all the footage of what I did to produce this. And this is this, the dress. It's a very, it's a mini dress. Okay. So what I'm going to do is finish the bottom. Okay. And here it is. And here's the dress. Okay. Right. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and trim it. I'm going to trim it. I'm going to trim the bottom. I'm going to trim the bottom. I think I'm going to trim it with... Um, I don't know. My mind is thinking, but I'm going to trim it. All right. But anyway, so... All right. So the stitch I use, I use my serger. And I also use my sewing machine. And what I did is, when I did the elastic, so what I did was put the elastic in. So I sewed the elastic down. I sewed the elastic down. I have it going right around. Sorry, guys. Let me show you. So... I sew the elastic right around and then what I did was a stretch stitch but it's a different type of stitch. So this stitch you literally can move it and it won't burst and it's I, I forgot what's the name of that stitch but it's almost like a zigzag but it's a shorter let me show you if I can come closer to have you see that stitch so you saw that stitch it's very very narrow so it's almost like a it's almost like a zigzag but it's the zigzag that slants if i make if i'm making sense so you just go right around okay all right and so this is that That is there. That is it. So, right. so here it is. So this is the actual front of this pattern. This is the front. The back is where I I actually manipulate. So because I want this. I use the back, which is the plain back. Here it is. And what I did was manipulate the pattern. So you see, this is the pattern I cut. I go around and come below the waistline. And I cut that out. Okay? And when I cut it out, then all I did was put the elastic on the back, okay? And it comes with a collar. So what I did was use a shorter version of the collar. Um, I should use a shorter version of the collar. So this collar is kind of high. So my collar is very low. I mean, like a short, shorter collar. It doesn't look like a turtle, okay? So here's a shorter collar, all right, like a standing, standing collar. So this skirt is extremely short, very short because she had butt. <laughs> so let me show you, see? I know the girls wear them like this, but this is a little short. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put a frill on the bottom of that. 
So I'm just gonna put a frill like for like right here. A little frill on the bottom of this. Okay. Um and I'm gonna finish it up and let you guys see how it is. All right, bye. So guys, it's done. Finish. So there it is. Okay. That's the end result. This is the, the dress. Okay. All the details to it. So what I did, I trimmed the bottom because what happened is that it was just a little too short. Okay. A little too short. So I trimmed the bottom. So there's the trim. As you can see, I have it to match with the, the, the sleeve. I'm just going to go ahead and sew it down. I'm gonna put my brand right here. Name brand. I don't know. But let me go ahead and put finish up the sleeve, okay? You know what? Hold on. Let's go ahead and finish up the sleeve. Hold on. Because sometimes I'm trying to get to you guys see me do the, the, the sewing and somebody is saying it's not too close. So let's finish this up. So what I'm going to do is hope you guys can see this, right? Let's finish. Let's look at the finished result. Okay. So this is it. Here's the dress, guys. This is it. Okay. And this is the back of the dress. Very sexy. So what I'm going to do is this. I, I wanted to make it look like a really nice club wear. And yeah, I'm going to do it. This is it. It's very plain, but as, it's, as I said, I need this to be a conversation piece because this actually is a, you have to look at it good. Look at boats and the wall and houses is on here. And then I have this. Okay, guys. And I see a mistake. Yep, I see it look like when I was pulling it. I'm fix it right now. Yeah, I'm gonna fix it right now. See it. See, I can see it. But right there is a you see that little fold right there? I'm gonna take it out. Hold on. I gotta fix it. That's one thing I don't like. Is my stuff have a mistake on it, so I'll take it out. 
So yes, guys, as I've said before, buy a basic pattern, especially you guys who make prom dresses. And use that as your basis for your prom dress because look here, I'm going to make a, 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 not even a prom dress, but I'm going to make a little, a dress right now. I have a, um, have some sequins. So I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, it basically kind of went over. So I'm just going to fix it. So you guys finish um with your shopping and stuff. And who get in machine for Christmas? Huh? <laughs> All right, so let me see. Okay, so what I'm going to go back here. And I'm just gonna down Put it so that it don't get yeah, right there. it guys see so it doesn't have a um a We're done. There she is. All right. So that is it. This is my inspiration. Okay, for the back. Put it on this dress. I had, I didn't have enough. Um, all these are like, I put, um, I hate using the word, the word scrap. It's not scrap. I just had like, um, put in I didn't have enough any more blue jeans so I put this in the back and I had enough to go around to the the color I only have this fabric and all of them is the same stretch it's the same four-way stretch so I have enough just to make a sleeve and to meet the band at the bottom and then I have this fat. Oh, it feels so. Oh my god, you could just feel it every day. It's so beautiful. Um, and then this will be the black, okay? And that's it, guys. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for the patience. Oh, this one, I have to go chop it up again because I I did the cutting out of the pattern and everything. So I'll just show you the process, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for coming to my channel. And Merry Christmas, guys. Bye.